Welcome back to Module 1. We're uh, now going to take up uh, a more practical uh, look at how the course is scheduled and the associated logistics. Specifically, we'll talk about the schedule of the modules, and uh, there are roughly six of them, and they're uh, paced, are meant to be paced at one per week. Talk a little bit about the supporting books. You're not required to get these books, but if you have an interest to reach out, think a little bit uh, more deeply about the material, then these books are excellent. We're also putting together a participatory forum on Piazza, and so uh, I'll mention that. The grading, the statements of uh, achievement that we have here, the laboratories and the laboratory submissions, and then we have an introductory survey we'd like you to do, and I want to give you a heads up to that. So let's begin. <clears throat> here are the modules, six of them. We're in the middle of module one. Uh, it's not done with 1.5. I'll come back and give you the next deeper look at how GPS works to round out uh, Module 1. In Module 2, we'll continue upward on our spiral and give an even deeper look on how GPS works and how the GPS measurements are processed. Not only that, we'll talk about and predict how well GPS performs given these pseudo-range measurements and the kinds of errors that we associate with them. And then finally in Module 2, we'll talk about how to improve that performance. We'll come back to the subject of differential GPS. Module 3 takes a deeper look at both how the orbits are described and the GPS, and for that matter, GNSS signals are described. Um, in general, we talk an awful lot about GPS. It's pretty much marbled into the language of satellite navigation because it's by far the most senior naviga satellite navigation system available today. But everything we talk about in terms of performance, analysis, orbits, and signals are applicable to the new European system, Galileo, the new Chinese system, Beidou, the Russian system, GLONASS, the Japanese uh, QZSS, and the Indian system as well. So please bear in mind that all these concepts we're teaching are portable. Uh, Professor Van Diggelen will come back and talk about receiver design, so he'll open up that box and look much more deeply into it. <clears throat> how does it acquire GNSS signals? And how weak can those GNSS signals be and still expect to be well processed by the receiver? In other words, that's the subject of GNSS receiver sensitivity. It's an important one because the signals come all the way from medium Earth orbit, and so they're extremely weak by the time they reach the Earth. And so receiver sensitivity is an enormously important topic. And then finally, in Module 6, uh, Professor Van Diggelen will talk about the other uh, upcoming and growing satellite navigation signals. So there we'll make a, a real effort to talk about what's different about Galileo, GLONASS, Beidou, and so forth. So that's the schedule of our modules. Uh, nominally, they're set up to be paced at one per week. Here are the supporting books I mentioned. Um, um, uh, I co-authored the first one with Pratap Misra, professor at Tufts University. Uh, it's very good. It's very detailed. Uh, and so uh, it will give you a real chance to open up any questions that you might have about signal design, performance of the measurements, uh, design of the measurements, and so forth. And then Professor Van Diggelen has written an uh, equally excellent book focused on assisted GPS. And so that would be a big help in the second half of the course, where we really dig into how do we make GPS operate both instantly and indoors. And um, I give there uh, the website to get more details on these books, but they're very easy to find on the web. As I mentioned, we certainly recommend them, but they're not required. The course is self-standing. The class forum will be hosted on Piazza, and this is a, uh, a forum where both students and instructors can both ask and answer questions. And so please, if you have any questions about the lectures, the homework, or the readings, please ask on Piazza. 
all questions are good and it, th therefore it benefits everybody if they can see the question both asked and answered there. I hope uh, you make great good use of this resource. Grading and assessment, you can earn either of a statement of accomplishment from Stanford or a statement of accomplishment with distinction. And uh, here is the requirement for the statement of accomplishment. We ask that you complete the weekly quizzes, homework questions, and then we'll have a final quiz at the very end of the course based on all the earlier quizzes. And uh, certainly we hope uh, to feel your presence on Piazza as well. So that, those are the requirements if you seek a statement of accomplishment. If you seek the statement of accomplishment with distinction, then we ask you to complete the GPS laboratories as well. Here's a little bit more on those backyard labs. <clears throat> Please visit uh, our website to get access to, to them and, uh, and, and to begin your journey through them. It can be completed in your own neighborhood. You don't have to go anywhere. It, absolutely, wherever you are, as long as you have that uh, GPS-enabled mobile device with the Android operating system, you'll be able to go ahead and do these experiments. The experiments are not long. So if you have to borrow a friend or a colleague's phone to get the Android operating system, I think you can do that without worrying them too much about uh, how long you'll need to borrow that uh, phone, uh, maybe an hour at a time, something like that. Uh, we're excited about this because uh, we, we, we'll try and plot some results taken by all of you from all over the world, and you get a little bit of a feeling for how big uh, the GPS community is and how big this, this class is. The introductory survey, please keep a lookout on your email. We'll be inviting you to take a pre-course survey here in the uh, very early days. And uh, if you fill that out, it helps us a lot. It certainly helps us uh, customize and uh, modify the course for you and make sure that it's on target. So with that, we welcome you to this global adventure. If those prereqs seem meaningful to you, if the excitement of GPS grips you, please join us. I think we'll have a, a great good time with this course. Thank you very much.